Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're just going to do something a little fun. As I mentioned in one of my other videos, my i3 theme is kind of all over the place. So I thought I would go through and do some ricing today just on video for my video of the day. And as with all ricing that I do, <laughs> I'm going to try to blatantly steal someone else's rice which is this one here now this is actually a Mac setup so mine won't look exactly like this obviously um but I'm gonna do a little bit of at least these colors this is Nord I'm pretty sure this is just straight up Nord it's even got the wallpaper so we're just that's what it, that's what we're gonna be aiming for today I don't know if we're gonna get it all done on video but we'll see so the first thing I decided to do was look up the Nord color scheme which is just available at nordtheme.com uh, I'll put that link in the show notes if anybody else is interested, but it's easy to get to. You just got to Google it. And uh, there's actually quite a few different palettes here that we're going to use. Um, but why don't we just go ahead and get started. Now the first and easiest one is probably to decide the outline of the windows, which we'll, we'll need to do uh, in my i3 config which is going to be down here somewhere uh, I think it's going to be this one here right, so then we need to find out what the what the code is that I'm going to need what co color I want to use so I think I'm going to go down to one of the brighter ones like this here Okay. Mm -hmm. Oops. I forget that change word doesn't do the whole thing, so we just go control V. Oops. What did it do? And again. Alright. And we'll save that and see what it looks like. Oh, that's cool, kind of cool. I wonder why it's purple along that side. That has to be something to do with them. I bet you it doesn't look like that on Firefox. No, it does have purple there. That's interesting. Let's go look and see what that's all about. That's going to be indicator, right? So, uh, change word and V. Oops, and then I did it again. The pound, the pound is real. I do know how to use them, really. Apparently, I don't know how to use them. I got some the wrong thing in the in the thing. In the all right, this is the one I need. Oh, okay. I still didn't do it right. Damn it. <laughs> this is dumb. All right, what the hell am I doing? Just screw them. This is the one I need. There we go. For fuck's sake. That really wasn't that hard. Alright, there we go. Now we got it all the way around. Good. Okay. And then we need to do... Uh, I think that's it for i3 config. I don't have any other colors here that I come from the i3 config folder. Um, so that just means we're going into polybar. Which is going to be the fun part. So, what do I want Polybar to look like? Well, right now I just have the active workspace in the main color I was using, which was uh, Pop OS Yellow, I guess is what I was using before. I was trying to do some Pop OS theming or whatever for a while, but kind of interrupted in the middle. Uh, I think we'll go ahead. Do I, do I want it that color too? Well, first let's go ahead and do the background. Here's the colors, and this is the g colors that I'm using. So we want the background. So let's look at the back actual main color of Nord, which is uh, is it this color here? Or I guess it could supposed to be any of those. But I think I'm gonna go a little bit brighter. 
All right, so go back here and see if I can make a fool of myself with them again. And then control V. And why is change word copying it to the clip clipboard? That doesn't make any sense. That's not what change word should do. All right. Why are you doing this to me, Vim? That's dumb. All right. Just delete the damn thing. You know, the manual way. That's not what is in the clipboard either. All right. This is dumb. There we go. And why is the foreground color that? That's really weird. That's not the way it should be. We want the foreground color probably just white. Yeah, I think that's what we, we want. And then the pa for some reason the padding became all fucked up with that too. That's really weird. You should, the padding shouldn't change when you change the color. Uh, but whatever. <laughs> We're on an adventure today. That's what what matters. Um, th that padding is going to be the. Uh, let's go ahead and delete this line here. This is dumb. Right, we're going to go out here and see what the. I guess. Padding left and padding right, but that doesn't explain what the pad for, for the padding at the bottom. And I don't have a border indicated. That's weird. You see the space in between here? That's dumb. And that's it. Wonder why the padding changed. That's really weird. I wonder if it's gonna be the line size that's I don't know what this does. But we're gonna find out. That did nothing. Okay, well we'll change it back. Okay. Fascinating. Maybe something up here then maybe. And we can change the, the height to 22. Let's see if that helps. That looks a little bit better. Maybe 20. Oops. Yeah, I suppose. Makes the tray look really stupid. I'm actually gonna think I'm gonna keep it 23. That we're, we'll find out what the hell is wrong with the padding. Oops, I did it again. I really do know how to use them. <laughs> True story. Oh, you wanna? I wonder if it's the font. Why would the font size? The font size didn't change with the color. All right, fine. You wanna? Let's make the the font size bigger. 14. Oh, that's way too big. Woo boy. All right. 11 then. Oops. That's still too big for me. I, I don't like it. I like the size of that font. I just don't understand why the bar went funky. Maybe it was like that before and I just didn't notice it because it was transparent. Uh, I figured that out. Anyways, let's go ahead and move on to the next color. So we need to go down here to the I3 module, which is here, okay. Uh -huh. Yes, I still have 19 workspaces. I haven't changed that.
All right, so we want to uh, background. Oops, wrong one. Uh, background we want to be uh, this here, I think. Yeah, I did that again. You want to know why it was copying to the thing? Because I was doing delete word instead of change word. Like a moron. And, well, wait a minute, hold on a sec. We don't want that color. That's dumb. That's the other color. We want this to be, uh, let's see, what color? We want the background to be, oh, man. Was it this one or was it this one? I can't remember. That one, good. And we want, all right, and W. Ooh, that doesn't show up very good, does it? It doesn't show, show up very good, do it? What if we made this, the f background, that color, and made this one, oops, that color. Ooh, that still doesn't, the white doesn't show up then, does it? Hmm. Maybe white's... Maybe white's not the best color to look for. We'll find something different. What other colors we got here? Oh, we could use one of these. I wonder if these show up better. Well, that time I, I, I really did use change words, so. And it did copy to password. Well, all right. Maybe if somebody uses Vim out there, you can explain to me why ch CW, which is supposed to be change word, copies what it changes into the clipboard. That doesn't make any sense. Now, DW would make sense, or Yank would make sense, but change word doesn't. That, why does it, that doesn't make any sense. It's really weird. And that doesn't show up any better. That actually looks worse. Interesting. All right, well, we're gonna find a different color. It has some brighter colors out here. We did uh, this one for the outline. We could turn, this one wouldn't show up very good, would it? I don't think so. As you can tell, I am not a designer. I just, it's trial and error, error people until I, I might as well just do you know, delete word. And, and then, see delete word actually, yeah, that's really weird, man. Like I'd expect that to go into the, the, well, that looks even worse. <laughs> I keep going, I'm going the wrong direction. Um, oh, here we go. Here's some, I wonder if, oh, I bet you purple would show up good. Oops. Here we go. And then I have to go actually copy the damn thing down again because that's really weird. And that didn't show up good either. What colors are right, you want? On? Let's see what black shows up, shows up like. Yeah, it's gonna show up the best is black. Well, that's a little bit boring. Okay. That extra padding on the long bottom is really annoying too. I'm gonna. All right, let's uh, let's go Googling. We wanted to keep that open. That's for Vim. All right, extra padding on bottom of polybar. Come on, Google, don't fail me. Um, I don't think this is what. It is. Uh, I wonder if top padding and bottom padding. <clears throat> I don't. I didn't think bottom padding was a was a thing. I 
I think he's just talking about that space in between the window and the thing. He just has gaps. Hmm. I don't see him having anything here different than I have. Live on video. <laughs> How to remove padding from the bottom of polybar. You wanna know what? Let's just go here and search for padding, huh? One of these, then one of these will make sense. Problem is, th these would all be side to side padding. And these are all modules at the bottom, you know. Let's go to the top. Oops, hold on a second. Why am I in insert mode? Why was I in insert mode? That was dumb. You know, I, I copied somebody else's a new of them, and I'm really regretting it because things don't work. Why is all right? While we're here, you want to screw it? I'm I'm too curious. Why does CW chain add text to um clipboard? them yeah somebody else but this is for Adam oh you wanna I bet you the uh, whoever's config file I have actually has that in there I'm gonna have to explore that later I'll leave that open because that's fascinating I wonder why they would change that. That's pretty dumb. All right, let's go through and add some more colors, shall we? Uh, we want to. I think we want to want that purple to be the separator. I bet you it's under arrow. Why am I in insert mode? Why? <laughs> this is dumb. There's no way this still works. <laughs> they keep insert in insert mode for no reason. Hold on here. Yes, I'm using my mouse. Screw it. I don't care. Nobody cares. Divider. Here we go. I'm just deleting it, you know, the regular way because I don't want to fucking move it out of the. Even deleting it the regular way adds it to the freaking clipboard. That is really weird. Why would you want such a thing? Yeah, that doesn't look very good either. I'm wondering if I'm going to have to stay all white. I don't know. Let's see what this looks like. Just deleting it here actually adds it to the clipboard. That's really weird. That's not bad. It's basically white, but it's okay. I wonder if I'm going to change that background. I don't know. I'm going to keep playing around with it. Let's go back to my inspiration. I want to see what it looks like. The problem with the inspiration it was because it was a Mac. They don't have a bar. 
Come on, full screen so I can actually see things. And screw you, Jiffy, or whatever the hell you're using. He just uses looks what looks like white. For whatever that is. Is that conky on Mac? That might be conky. Interesting. Well, I've had a lot of luck today, haven't I? This is what racing is like, people. You can go through right, things look right, and things look wrong. What else? You... I wonder what if I use some of these colors on like the modules. So let's just go, let's make this color, this one here, the weather. Um, yeah, why not? Deal with that going to the freaking clipboard again. Well, that doesn't look half bad. We need to do that for up here, too. Yeah, that, was, that doesn't look bad. I might end up having to change a different font. That might be what I would actually end up having to do. And maybe like yellow for the CPU. I'm not, I can't remember which CPU I'm using. And I'm using CPU 1. Okay. Do, 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 do. Alright, so we're going to paste first. And then delete the rest of this. Ha ha. I have a chat with a person who's configured. This is, these are the dangers of copying other people's configs. People, you don't know what happens <laughs> when something weird. They have something weird configured. Text in polybar centered. That's exactly what it is. Oh. Here we go, right here. Alright. We want to change this to two. <laughs> look at there. I don't know how that got changed back. Oh, I like I had that problem before and I was like, Eureka, I remember. That looks so much better, yes. And we can actually make it the whole bar a little bit smaller now, I think. Make this 22 or something. Oops, not 20, 32. Yeah, it's a little bit better. Yeah, that looks so much, so good. 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 I'm not sure about the colors yet, but that's a good start. I think we've been going for way too long, though. I think we've been going about for like 20 minutes already. I don't care. Do a little bit more. Thank you for this. Totally remind me. Um, Nord color scheme. Uh, like examples or something. That's just the color scheme. That doesn't help me at all. The guy is hoping for some more. Examples. Let's 
see what else other people have. Hmm. Looking for some inspiration here. I suppose that looks like Nord. The transparency kind of throws it off. Is there anything worse than Imager? <laughs> There's really not. He, he, he used the darker one. I wonder if I should use the darker one. I wonder what that would look like. Where did, where did it go? Nord colors. Did I really go out of that? I really did. What a dumbass. Let's use the darker one for the background and see what that looks like. And way to the top. Mm -hmm. Right here. Background. Yeah, that looks so much better. Yeah. Even with the colors, it looks better. The colors stand out more. I think I'm going to alternate green and blue and skip out the brighter colors. Go down here to the greens and blues. So we did a green, and then we'll do uh, the bright blue on the next one. All right, so the next one was CP1. Yeah. Well, that's figure out it would be a little bit different one for the divider, but yeah, I think I'm gonna like that. Um, and we'll add this back to the clipboard because it's gonna be way down there now. And then the next one is memory. I think it's actually going to be memory too. Yep, memory two is going to be the right one. Yeah, that looks really good. All right, the next one is uh, uh, PA volume, maybe? Yeah, I remember things. Thank God, clipboard manager, uh, history managers, damn it. Did it wrong. Oop, yeah. Oh, then I did the wrong color. Damn, it should be this one should be the blue one. Wait, I'm still I'm still messing this up. Okay, so it should be this one. No, it should be the other one. I'm more confused than I've ever been. <laughs> These are alternating colors, man. It shouldn't be that hard. I'm a dumbass. Okay, so we should. Look, what did I use for that weather? A three B E C. A three B E eight C. And then I used A F B C B B for memory. So this one here should be what I should use. Where's the A three B, A3B, okay. It should be 
Where did I get that color from? Down here. Oh, I said I wasn't gonna use those colors. Okay, so I'm gonna have to change weather to this. That's why I was all fucked up. Because I used something different, okay. Did it again, damn it. All the way down here. That's, uh, whoever set that up is gonna, uh, I'm getting a new config. Uh, I've been trying to write my own, but it's so much easier just to steal other people's. Okay, so we did the, yeah. We're just gonna call that BB, and then the, CPU one is oh, is that even one? That's still a, a wrong one. It should be. What color was I using? <laughs> I totally forgot. Is that the color I was using? All right, I've had enough of this. You can't rice when you're an idiot, apparently, because I'm an idiot. All right, so what blue color did we use? And that's uh, for memory one. Memory two, then. <laughs> it's the BB one. Where did the hell did I get BB from? It's this color here. That's pretty much green. We want blue. All right. That's it for this video. I'm I'm done for now. I'll finish this off camera. Anyways. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna keep gonna keep going. If you're if you're still watching this, God bless your little soul, because this is painful to watch how stupid I am. All right. So memory should be this color here. Okay. this one here okay all right and CPU that was a CPU one okay Christ I'm <laughs> and there's got to be an easier way to do this all right so that was CPU one which is using the right color Okay, so then memory. Yeah. Another thing about this is it enters insert mode at weird with weird key combinations. If I forget to hit the search thing, it just starts typing all of a sudden. Uh, all right. This one needs to be the green color. Which is this? Okay. Is it really that color? Are we sure? Because I'm not changing this again. This is dumb. I guess the color that I want, right? <laughs> but, but I'm not gonna change this again. Okay, so uh, PA VU volume, PA volume needs to be the blue. And Yeah, that's okay. Good. All right, then uh, date one is this one here. That needs to be green. I think the reason why I'm having such a hard time is those colors are so similar that I keep getting mixed up. So this one needs to be green. Oops.
right? And then the clock needs to be blue. Oops, uh, date two. And I was I was there, and then I moved. <laughs> I'll do this the hard way. Oops, wrong one. And there we go, polybar. All right. I was gonna try to get to um, Damon, Vim, and Termite, um, but I don't think it's gonna happen. So dot config, Termite config is here, and the colors are here. Yeah, that's gonna take a little bit longer. I wonder if there's a preset termite Nord theme. Someone will have done it. Ah, uh, see? Why don't, do you just have the... I don't want to install I just want to see the... Yeah, that's what I want. Don't do what I'm doing, people. Do, you know, just copy and paste in people's text off from the internet. It's bad form. You're supposed to type it in yourself and be creative. That's never going to be me. Never, ever, ever. All right. Oh, right, I forgot that that was being done. Okay. Yeah, there we go. There's Nord theme. Looks what it looks like H top looks like. There we go. Cool. That is cool. Good. All I'll be left not then is to figure out how to do NeoVim. And that's going to happen after I figure out what the hell's going on with the copy and pasting. It's so dumb. Anyways, thank you for watching. If you, for whatever reason, liked this nonsense, give it a like, give it a subscribe. If you didn't, just ignore all this. I mean, there's no chance that there's anybody still watching this anyway. So, um, ciao for now. See you tomorrow.